guys, it's Kaylee. So today I wanted to do a get ready with me on my makeup, hair, and outfit just to give you guys an idea of something to do for St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up. So this is likely what I'm going to be doing. And I wanted to film it early for you guys and get it up before the holiday is actually here. I am using a base right now on the eyelids, blending through the balm. Cosmetics, Mr. Right Now, eyeliner pencil, that was Coda, eyeliner pencil in Jack. It's sort of like a khaki greenish color. So I put that on my lids first, blended that out all the way through and up into the crease. Next, I'm working on the crease shades. I'll be using two from this Smashbox Cover Shot Matte Eye Palette. So the first one is a neutral brown. This is going through the crease all the way from the inner to outer corner with a big fluffy brush. And it's just gonna help the base to blend in better into that crease. And it's also going to work as a nice transitional shade into the darker one that I will be using in just a second. So make sure you work that in really nicely, blend it all the way through, no harsh lines, keep it nice and smooth. So then we're going through with this darker brown. So this one's really nice because again, it's matte. And what this is gonna do is help to create more dimension for the eye. And I just love dark browns in the outer corners. I think it's a great way to warm things up and I think it looks really nice with green. So to add a touch of green for St. Patrick's Day, I went in with this Makeup Geek Foiled Pigment in Voodoo. It is so crazy bright on its own. So what I wanted to do was use it over top of that darker green khaki base that we set down first. So I just patted that right on the center of the lids and it should stay there pretty well throughout the day. If you plan on wearing this for a long time, you will be good to go. All right, so I lined my eyes with the Catrice Cosmetics Glam and Doll Super Black Liner. I did a very exaggerated, dramatic cat winged eye. And over top, I put on my Kiss Faux Lashes, Faux Mink Lashes in Gala. I've been really liking using an oil on my face first as a base rather than other products just because it feels so good, it feels so hydrating, and my skin has been crazy dry. It is called the Marula Oil. This is just the pure one that is meant for your face. So I put that all over and then I wanted to try out this IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination. It's a anti-aging hydrating serum. It's also got full coverage. It's basically a cream that kind of color corrects. So I put that down first thinking I was gonna use that as my foundation, but I have it in the shade light and I feel like it was way too light for me. So I ended up blending through a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Color Correcting Concealer from Catrice Cosmetics. This is in Wake Me Up Effect. I put that under the eyes and down the bridge of the nose for a brightness. This is not what I'm using as my concealer. I just like to put this down first to add that brightness to the center of the face. So that way the concealer looks even brighter. So the concealer I used is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade Light, number 10. Again, I just put this under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, also in the center of the forehead, Cupid's bow and chin, and blended this through with my new favorite blending sponge from EcoTools. I'm obsessed with this thing. I love the shape of it. It's just very easy to use since it's flatter than the original you know, beauty blenders that you guys see. And for me, I find that's easier to get into the inner corners and stuff like that. And I feel like it pats in the foundation and concealers and whatever cream products you're using a lot better, just looks more airbrushed. I set the concealer with the Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Powder, and now I'm going through with a little bit of a cosmetic sunshine in a compact. It's a anti-aging matte bronzer. It's called Warmth. I'm working this through the outer corners of my face, so around my uh, jawline, forehead, through the cheekbones, a little bit on the nose to contour that. Basically just giving my face a little bit more life. I went through with the blending sponge and whatever powder was left, and I just kind of packed added that all in so it gave like a more natural effect. I wiped away some of that bake from the uh, powder we had used under the eyes and then I worked as my blush, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's a pressed powder, so gorgeous. It's like this uh, rose golden shade. I thought it was so pretty and I love the shimmer in it. So I put that on the outer corners of my cheekbones and as my highlight, totally forgot how awesome this was, but it's a cream and it's from Julep. It's a cream to powder blush stick in sheer glow. So I put that on the 
high points of my cheekbones and also a little bit on the tip of my nose. And as for that lower lash line, guys, so easy. All you have to do is go through with a dark brown eyeliner. I used Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Roach. And then I went through with a mixture of both of those two brown shades that we had worked through the crease. As the highlight, I'm using from the Smashbox Cover Shot palette, that really light shade, I think it's called Assistant. And I can't remember if I said that was the matte eye palette, by the way. Finishing off the eyes with a little bit of mascara, this is the Honest Beauty Truly Lush Mascara. I love using this one, I haven't used it in a while, so I thought I'd bring this baby back out for this tutorial. But it is another really good one to use as a lengthener for your lower lashes and to help blend the natural lashes into the falsies for the top ones. So we're finished with the eyes and the face, all that's left is the lips. Every time I'm doing a brighter nude lip, I always like to go through with concealer, pat that in on my lips, then a powder to set that in place. I just use the Honest Beauty one. And then I go in with my lip liners because when you use a lighter color, it just doesn't really show up on your natural lips. And if you plan on um, you know, slightly overlining like I like to do in the Cupid's bow area of the top lip, this is definitely something I would recommend doing so that it looks more natural like it's your actual lip. So I laid down the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Nude first, and then the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Nude over top. I set with my Capari Spray in Coconut Rose. Smells so good. I love it. It's sulfate free, paraben free. So moving on to the hair. I decided to clip in my Luxie hair extensions so that I could get a longer hairstyle look. Of course, you guys can do this on short hair as well, but I totally was feeling the long hair for this look. I got my Luxie hair extensions originally in chestnut brown, but I have had them dyed a few times, and yes, they have lasted through like two or three hair dye sessions, which is amazing, but yeah, this is my hair extensions as they look now, and they are dyed with a slightly red toner. I actually did a video talking all about my hair and my new hair color, my hair cut, all that goodness in a video on this channel, so I will link that down below if you guys are interested to see exactly what my hairstyle is used. But I basically clipped in a three clip weft on the very bottom section, then two four clip wefts clipped together, one for either side, along the middle section of my hair and then one three clip weft in the crown section of hair and that basically makes up my my uh, extensions and I just clip all those in and then I start curling. So this curling one that I got is brand new. I ordered it on Amazon a few days ago. It came in early, I was so excited. I've been using it and really, really loving it because it honestly is so nice. It gets really hot, which I like, but also it helps the hair to look less frizzy and I think that it does a good job of holding the curls throughout the day even though this is actually a bigger barrel than the one that I had been using before. So this replaced my new me curling wand. It was a clipless curling wand. You just turn it on and it goes to you know an automatic heat setting. I have had it for so long that I feel like it's old and it just doesn't work as well as it used to. So it doesn't get as hot anymore and I feel like I have to hold it on my hair forever and I was just like, oh, this is not working. I need a new curling wand. So I decided to get this one. And yeah, all I do to get these like really soft, sexy waves is just randomly pick up hair. Sometimes I will run the curling wand through the hair first just to get rid of any frizziness and then I will slowly twirl my hair away from my face into the curling wand, hold it for about eight seconds at most and then I just let it go and I do not touch my hair until I'm completely done with it. I like to make sure that the curls set in place before I touch them. Um, and as for the bangs, I do do something slightly different. As I'm curling the hair, I start in the middle section of the bangs and then I just curl that, that's it. I do not curl anywhere near the roots and I do not bring the ends into the curling wand whatsoever. And that is how you get that softer bang kind of look. I also decided to curl a little bit of the crown section of hair. I ordered this from Amazon. It is a Hot Tools one and one fourth inch. 
and that was it. I actually didn't even spray my hair at all with hairspray because I liked that softer look. And then throughout the day, my hair just kind of fell into really loose waves. So that is the completed look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I gave you some ideas for St. Patrick's Day. I think this is a great kind of simple look if you want to wear green but you just didn't know how to do it. It's a very soft, subtle, smoky eye with a nude lip and sexy waves. So anyway, for the outfit, I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I wanted to wear green, and this was like the only green thing I had in my closet. I had no idea that I just did not own anything green. It is a like cardigan style jacket from PacSun. I paired it with some high-waisted skinny jeans that are dark wash from Forever 21. And my top is also from Forever 21. It's like a little bralette, super cute. And I have no idea where my shoes are from, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.